What's up, everybody? This your boy, A-Dog, and once again, I'm back with another video. Today, we're gonna be checking out Mr. Norm McDonald. Now, I haven't heard this name before. I'm not sure if I ever reacted to him on the channel, but this one right here we're gonna be checking out is called Risky Black Jokes by Norm McDonald. Now, before we get to the video, if you're new to the channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Without further ado, let's dive straight into this, y'all. In 30 years after the Civil War, the state of Mississippi has finally voted to abolish slavery. Representatives say they would have liked to have done it sooner, but uh, they were delayed due to some awfully big cotton crops. They had to... That's a, a big cotton thing. All right. In Colorado this week, Bob Dole warned that if Pat Buchanan is the Republican nominee, the party might lose both the presidency and control of Congress. In response, Buchanan warned that if anyone other than himself becomes president, mm. blacks will retain the right to vote. Wow. Wow. Last night, the epic disaster film Twister opened to big box office and some controversy. The Reverend Jesse Jackson has called for a boycott of the movie, claiming that not enough black people in the film are killed by tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Furman, who was expected to face disciplinary action by the LAPD, may get off lightly. Under the terms of a controversial plea bargain, the charges against him have been reduced to, quote, one count of using the word darky. What? <laughs> In the wake of the verdict, what? angry Menendez defense attorney Leslie Abramson said the jury simply chose not to believe the brother's excuse that they had been sexually abused by their father and says she knows why, quote, it's because my clients are black. <laughs> <laughs> President this Clinton was in Austin, Texas last Monday, the day of the Million Man March. The president said in a speech, I'm here to speak to you today because right now in Washington, D.C., there's like a million black guys. <laughs> oh. In Nashua, New Hampshire this week, a high school student, Chris Conley, while attempting to dunk a basketball, lost his balance, crashed down on the rim, and shattered two front teeth. Gee, I wonder if by some crazy chance Chris is uh, white. Whoa, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this man here is a fool. This week as America marked the 50th anniversary of Jackie Robinson's entry into Major League Baseball, there was a sobering reminder that racial prejudice in sports is not yet a thing of the past. In a shocking move today, all but one of the 125 playing members of the Professional Golf Association has signed a petition to ban African-American golfers from the tour. Wow. 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 And now a correction to a story we ran last week. Prince Charles is actually the one in the middle. <laughs> so we, we apologize for that. I don't know I why black was black of that. Black, black is black great. Is black is great. Black yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, black so. is fantastic. Even though, you know, they're not black anymore. But yeah, then yeah. again, we're not white, right? Right. We're pink like his fucking asshole. What the <laughs> world? I've seen it. We're all the color of, the, all the color of Bobby's asshole deep down. <laughs> what the <are> we... <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. Roseanne hired me for, as a stand, you know, I was doing stand-up and Roseanne said, would you like to be on the show and act? I, I you know, you can be Lori's uh, boyfriend. I said, I can't act. I should have said I could act. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, she said, well, why don't you be a writer? But one time in the writing room, she would give jobs to crazy guys sometimes, and she gave a job to uh, African-American. I don't know what you call them. I call them African-Americans. That's uh, those two words that are never heard in the state of Texas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, son, told me. And we're saying African American, and when you say that, it feels uncomfortable, right? No, to your tongue. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed to say? Well, no, just to tell me what you're supposed to say. <laughs> I well, say, I definitely would not say the A word. Right. That's what I call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The A A the A dash A word. Yeah, yeah. African American. <laughs> Can you do an African American? No. I try. Yeah. Okay. 
We'll give you an African American. Well, an African American. Uh, your mom is so fat she developed type two diabetes and congestive heart failure. Snap. <laughs> what? Uh, my, hey, George. My mother is so fat when she came to Vegas they had to build another hotel. Guy goes, you got the do rag. He goes, you know I'm fucking my woman. You know, and I don't want to answer the phone. Oh, shit, it could be a job, and, you know. And then, <laughs> and, 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 you know, where you after you will, you take the do rag, you wipe off your dick with the do rag. And what? I'm like, no, I don't do that. But everyone in the audience <laughs> is like, yeah, we all do that. We all wipe our dicks off. Bro, what <laughs> you know the Harlem, sh- the Harlem Shake. Yeah, I've seen it on okay. every single. You've commercial. seen it, then you'll appreciate this joke. I remember back when the Harlem Shake was just a back black fella holding me upside down off a fire escape trying to collect his money. Orange is the new black. Boy. But not in my apartment building. Kevin is the new black. <laughs> but- Presidential fact. Barack Obama is the first president to ever say the N-word as a term of endearment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not how George Washington used it. <laughs> no, I don't think it was a term of endearment. <laughs> no, it was, uh- Today is the 11th birthday of President Obama's youngest daughter, Sasha, or as I like to call her, the uppity one. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, I'm a regular Mozart. <laughs> uh, Michelle Obama has booked a cameo on the ABC show, ABC ABC. show Nashville. Start again. Start again. Right. Kids today. I mean, you can't, you can't spell, spell ABC. ABC. <laughs> wow. What? Uh, Michelle Obama has booked a cameo on the ABC show Nashville. With this and her appearance on iCarly, I think Michelle is ready to start appearing in films. May I suggest my favorite film series, Black Ass Fuckers? I found the secret to life is there is no problem that a huge... (laughs) I'm done. I'm done. No, I found the secret to life, Bob, and this is it. There is no problem big enough that a huge... (laughs) <laughs> that, a, that a huge, that a huge what? <laughs> now I found the secret. I found out the secret to life. Yeah. Yes, oh great one. Yes, and it is this: there is no problem big enough that a huge black cock cannot fix. Uh, Dr. Dre announced that he's the first hip hop billionaire. A regular J. Paul Ghetto. Uh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Two businessmen bought the Milwaukee Bucks for $550 million. They are very excited with their purchase, as this is the only legal way to own black people. Now, that is here, and I read that. Oh. Well, you're not there. You know how businessmen are racist? They are. Yes, yeah, so it's them being racist. They are. You. The two... The, the two businessmen that bought the Milwaukee Bucks for $550 million yeah. are racist, oh, according no, to this... Oh, they're fine, man. Well, here's actually a joke about Donald Sterling. Okay. All the charities that Donald Sterling donated millions of dollars to are giving the money back to him. Well, that'll show him. (laughs) (laughs) It's not bad. Uh, Never trust a black guy wearing a Dirk Nowitzki jersey. (laughs) What? In game one of the Western (laughs) Conference Finals between the Mavericks and the Thunder, Magic Johnson said that Dirk Nowitzki is playing like he has three legs. Which is a nice way of saying, he's playing like a black guy. (laughs) Show Oklahoma City second round NBA playoffs. Great dunk from Westbrook, though I'd be more impressed if he weren't young and black. Moscow Roy Jones Jr. is down, boring. If I wanted to see an old black guy get punched in the face, I'd look out my window. (laughs) Eastern Conference final in Miami. And LeBron crushes Kyle Cover in transition. Always shocking when a black guy running forward is faster than a white guy running back. <laughs> Usually I pick the bigger, blacker guy. <laughs> president Obama is a phenomenal player at basketball for a president of the United States. But I think he's just mediocre for a black guy. Wow. Hey, what about bringing in Jackie Robinson? Only team with a black guy in it. That's not cheating? Bro, this man is hilarious. I, I, I didn't know anything about what his name is, Norm McDonald, uh, having a live TV show. Low. How long did his show last? Because this man has no fear to this man. <laughs> he is saying a lot of stuff right now.
he said, what do you say? Jackie Robinson, the only black man on the on the baseball team is that cheat. <laughs> wow, this man has no filter. Look like it say Comedy Central. So he had a show on Com uh, Comedy Central. Bro, this is hilarious, bro. <laughs> wow. Let, let, let's continue on. Where I grew up, that's cheating. <laughs> Last week, Indiana Pacer Danny Granger called Joe Kim Noah of the Chicago Bulls a coward. Now, where I come from, those are fighting words. <laughs> but I have no idea how the black community views them. I... Wow. Middleweight boxer Bernard Hopkins has caused a stir by implying that Donovan McNabb is not black enough. <laughs> the two men have decided to settle their differences with an old-fashioned game of who cannot catch a cab. <laughs> this is crazy. Our, uh, oh, everybody's bringing up these uh, licenses for illegals and that they, they need to have them. And um, My question is... Uh, where are they getting the license plates? Obviously, we're letting them register vehicles without licenses. And in this day of car bombs and stuff, I don't know if that's a good idea. Thank you, Dan from Boise. Norm, what's your feeling? Well, um, <coughs> I know that the New York governor, Governor Spitzer, <laughs> I'm trying to get to learn things, <laughs> but he, uh, he doesn't want to issue uh, licenses to... Um, illegal immigrants, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how the hell you're, you're going to get a cab in New York City anymore. I mean, it's hard enough, you know, for me especially, as a black man. Wow, wow bro. Uh, have you heard about this uh, Huckleberry Finn thing? Bro, you got to be kidding uh, me, I heard something about they wanted to take the, uh, uh, the N-word out, right? Yeah, anyways, I wanted to bring it up before I forgot, and then we'll get on to my, uh, my projects. <laughs> All right, do you have any observation on it, any tweak on it, or just the, the cognizance of the fact that they want to... No, it's, I, I, well, I feel it's a thorny issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, no that, was, that wasn't the whole this thing. This is hilarious, bro. <laughs> I thought you were going to go, like, well, how so, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more, Norm. Why don't you well, do... Uh, I feel it's a thorny issue. Yeah, I'll tell me you why. too. Why, Norm? <laughs> well, you got Mark Twain, and, you know, and you're talking about, I mean, uh, hmm. for those of you who don't know, you know, what I'm talking about, they've they've taken out us the N-word, you know, out of many of the books of Huckleberry Finn. You know? Norm, they've taken us. And uh, so you got a, a thorny issue that mm. I think I, I, I have a solution to. <laughs> <laughs> What is this, man? Do I hear it? Oh, man. Never, oh, never anything more. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the thorny issue is this. Yeah. You know, you don't want to take, you know, Mark Twain, you know, one of the greatest writer ever to <laughs> brush paper with ink, you know, <laughs> and, and, and change his words, for God's sake. <laughs> On the other side of the, of the coin... You don't want to have a young African American boy in school, you know, hearing that word out loud and uh, and causing him pain. So it's a thorny issue. <laughs> but I figure it this way: you've read Huckleberry Finn. You are so this man has no filter at all. No filter at all. You, you know, it's written in the first person by Huckleberry. Hu by Huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. And you know it includes the N-word. Yes. Therefore, you just change Huckleberry Finn to a black kid. <laughs> <laughs> and everything's, Man. it's like a rap song at that point, right? Exactly, everything's cool. Bro, like I said before, you got to have a good sense of humor, bro. This man has no filter. Like I said, I'm... We're just introduced to Norm McDonald. Uh, like I said, I don't think I ever reacted to this guy on the channel, but man, was he saying a lot of stuff, especially with the baseball player. But at the end of the day, man, it's all jokes and stuff, good sense of humor, bro. Like this right here. <laughs> wow, bro. Wow. 
But uh, if y'all like to see me react to more Norm McDonald, let me know down below in the comment section. All right. And if you did make it to the end of the video, I really appreciate you. Like I said, make sure you like the video. Like I said, make sure you subscribe. So the next time I upload video, you don't miss out. But this your boy A-Dog, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.